you know, something's been on my mind lately and people keep asking me a lot of the same questions and what they really want to know is how can I change my life? And it doesn't matter if they're talking about finding a romantic partner or losing more weight or having more financial success or overcoming depression or how to stop hating oneself. As far as I see it, from my 2018 manifesto, there are five traits. And if you have these five traits, you can unlock whatever it is you want the most in life. The first thing is courage, because you need to be brave to go after your dream when the whole world is telling you that you can't, you lost, go home, pack your bags, bye bye, sayonara. It's like the aspiring actor showing up in Los Angeles where every single person has seen thousands of actors fail before her. And yet, the ones who win will be the ones who are brave enough to follow their dream despite what the average person says. It's the same thing in dating where, you know, everyone wants the real thing, everyone wants love. And yet, when people get a real relationship, after so many years of BS, so many years of half effort, so many years of not dating people you really like because you're terrified, it's when you decide to be brave that you will unlock that amazing relationship. And when it comes to your fitness and losing weight, you know, I had a friend named Soul who was overweight his entire life and yet the day he decided he was gonna lose weight, you know, all his friends were so supportive. All his family was like, you got it buddy, we believe in you, you can do it. And guess what happened? The second he started losing 20 pounds, 30 pounds, 40 pounds, the second he started looking good, they all turned on him. And they said, whoa, you're like getting way too into fitness, man. Like what's with all these weird foods and all these vegetable juices and all these workouts you're doing? Like you need to take it easy. You're looking too thin. He was 240 pounds. His friends told him he was looking too thin. You need to be the brave one. Even if you are the only brave person in your life, the only brave person you know, the only, hell, the only brave person you've ever met, you need to be that brave one. Because it's courage, more than anything, that will determine where you go and what you unlock, and if you can become the kind of person you want to become. Because the whole world at some point is going to be telling you that what you want to do is wrong, impossible, you failed before, how's it going to work out this time? and you're gonna have to be strong enough internally to tell them, watch me do it. Now the second trait is living from the inside out. You know, everyone says they wanna get fit. There's a famous story about an opera singer and she's singing this beautiful song, everybody's ears are ringing, I mean, it's just chills up and down the spine. And afterwards, at dinner, a woman says to her, you know, I would kill to be able to sing like that. I would love to be able to sing as well as you do. And the opera singer stunned everybody when she said, no, you wouldn't. And the woman looked at her with, you know, like, what, what do you, what? Did she really just say that? And she said, because if you really wanted what I have, you could, but you would have done the work already. Everyone wants to attract that dream body. They want to attract that dream partner. They want to attract the perfect job, more financial success. They want to attract fulfillment, happiness, vacations in Paris. And yet, none of us want to do the work on ourselves. You know, it's interesting. When you, whatever it is you want, if you flip the switch in your head from thinking, I pursue these things, to I attract these things. This is saying that success and fulfillment and happiness and your dream partner, they're all things you attract. Which is interesting because you don't have to pursue them because when you become your own perfect 10, you will attract your perfect 10 partner. When you have your perfect 10 of discipline, of willpower, of consistency, you will attract your perfect 10 body. When you have the perfect 10 attitude, you will attract perfect 10 opportunities. And when you show up every day happy first, you will build a life that you love. When you focus on your style, your fitness, being generous, doing things you love, you will unlock all of those things you desire most, but they start by attraction, not pursuit. The attraction of you already becoming your perfect 10 on all levels, a holistic 10, will manifest all the other things that you have always wanted in your life and far easier than you could have imagined. Forget figuring things out and just follow your excitement. 
You know, people send me so many emails about feeling lost in life, thinking that there's some divine slap from God that's going to say, here you go, Johnny, this is the path to follow. And that almost never happens. I mean, hey, maybe there will be. But for me in my 20s, where I felt so lost and so depressed, so discouraged, like I was standing at the edge of that dark forest, and somewhere in those miles of forest with wolves and bears and tigers and lions, somewhere was the life I wanted. And yet there was no divine illumination, no God slap, no, hmm, this feels good. There was no light that illuminated in the middle of the forest. There was no moonlight at all. There was just darkness. And sometimes you just have to push in order to figure out what the next path is. Sometimes you just have to go, 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 and then the path will illuminate itself. But along the path, I wanna leave you with this last thing, to stop caring what your friends think. You know, that friend that you admire that's a lawyer, you think he's got it all good, it's all amazing on Facebook and Instagram, you don't know that he's an alcoholic. That one friend you have with the six-figure job after their MBA, you don't know she works 80 hours a week and she's 30 pounds heavier from the stress. And you don't know that other person who played it safe has the beautiful white picket fence, the husband or the wife and the cute little kids is now miserable in their revolutionary road white picket fence life. So this year, I want you to stop caring what others think and set yourself free.